Hello and welcome! The PSP has one of the most fantastic library of games that I have ever seen, with hundreds of PSP titles and even more once you include the PlayStation Classics on the PlayStation Network. But what happens if you want to play Rugrats and have been waiting for years for this classic game to be released to no avail? Well, if Sony won't release it, I guess we have to make it ourselves. So today I'm going to share with you how to convert your PlayStation 1 games to work on the PlayStation Portable. But first, a message from us at 16-Bit. Check out our games from us at 16-Bit Games, like Invaders from Space. Survive as long as possible and get the high score as the endless wave of enemies slowly make their way down to you. Play it today for free from the Apple App Store, Google Play, or the Amazon App Store. To begin, we're going to need four things. The first is a computer running Windows. Second, we're going to need the software PSX to PSP. There will be download links provided below. Third, we're going to need a backed up disk image of the game we want to convert. If you don't know how to back up your own games, check out this guide from us to learn how. The fourth thing we're going to need is a modded PSP running custom firmware. If you don't have a PSP running custom firmware, don't worry, we also have a guide for that too. Now that we have everything ready to go, I can show you how to convert and run three typical PS1 games that you most likely run across. The first is a standard PS1 game, like Rugrats Search for Reptar. The second is a PS1 game with CD digital audio, like the ones found in Namco Museum. And finally, a multi-disc game, like Chrono Cross. So with everything in one place, let's finally start with a standard PS1 game. So, start up PSX to PSP and click on the conversion menu. From here, we'll load in our disk image file for the game disk, and from there, PSX to PSP will actually auto-populate all of your data if it's able to identify the disk correctly. If not, you can always just populate the data yourself. The only thing left for us to do is set the output directory to a location, and we're done. Just press that big convert button and move the game over to your PSP. And there you have it, one working PS1 game. But just from the way it looks, it's not very nice. It's difficult to tell which game is what just from the home screen. So let's take a moment and make the game prettier. To make games prettier, just minimize that conversion menu and click on the customized PPP. Here we can change the icon, the boot warning, message, and so much more. I personally have a standard template for all of my backed up games, but you can customize your games to your heart's content however you want. Want animations, want music, add that to your heart's content. So that's a standard game, but how do you convert a PS1 game with CD digital audio? Well, surprisingly, the process is actually exactly the same as before. But if you were to try to run your game right now, the digital audio will not play. What you'll need to do then is to get the CDDA Enabler plugin. Links will be provided below for how to download it and how to install it properly. So, download and follow the installation instructions on the page and enable the plugin. Once it's done, your games and its audio will play exactly like it probably would on an actual PlayStation. Finally, let's convert our multi-disc game. The process is exactly the same as before, with one alteration. This time we'll need to go and click on that drop-down menu for the disc image and add our discs in their correct order. So slot 2 we need to put disc 2, so on and so forth. So once all of our discs are loaded into PSX to PSP, press that convert button and put it onto the PSP. And in game to switch to disc, just press the home button and tell the system what disc you want loaded instead. Now since I've converted my entire library over to the PSP, one thing that I have learned is that if you're converting your games with zero compression, there's a good chance that it won't work. 
any depression between 1 and 9 will, and I personally keep mine at 9 since with a single disc game you're only looking at maybe 1 to 2 megabytes of a file difference. But other than that, that's all I have for you today. I'd like to thank King Squider for making PSX to PSP, I'd like to thank Total Noob for the ZDA plugin, and for everyone involved with these projects for making a PSP a much better and easier to access platform than it would probably be otherwise. But anyways, thank you ever so much for watching, hope you have yourself a good day, and as always, take care.